assalamu alaikum everyone i hope everyone can hear me can you please just let us know in the chat if you can hear us okay okay that's very good uh, my name is noorul and sohail and i am the assistant manager for life synchronous learning at lums lumsx i'm delighted to be the moderator for today's session with the valuable technical support from my colleague manahil noor thank you manahil for those joining us again welcome back and for our first time attendees we're thrilled to have you join us today allow me to provide you with a quick overview of lumsx and our mission lumsx is the center for online learning and professional development at lums our goal is to extend lums lums's excellence in teaching and research beyond its physical borders by harnessing technology and innovative pedagogy through our diverse range of courses including pre-recorded self-paced synchronous live taught hybrid and free open online courses We strive to bridge critical skill and knowledge gaps for Pakistani learners catering to their varied learning needs. Our courses encompass three main domains: education and teacher professional development, personal and professional development, and data science and IT. At Lumsex, we contextualize content, offer bilingual material, and engage subject matter experts who actively contribute to their respective fields in Pakistan, ensuring that our courses are relevant and accessible to our local audience. Our vision and mission revolve around making education accessible to all Pakistanis, breaking down barriers such as demographics, finances, and gender that may hinder access to quality education. In addition to our learning products, we facilitate learning through events and webinars like the AI webinar series where we delve into pressing topics such as artificial intelligence. Today's webinar will explore the integration of generative AI into teaching practices. We'll uncover the dynamic correlation between teaching methods and generative AI, offering insights into its impact on instructional practices. Our aim is to equip you with actionable strategies to seamlessly integrate generative AI into your curriculum, thereby enhancing learning outcomes and student engagement. Whether you're an educator navigating the complexities of K to 12 classrooms or shaping the landscape of higher education, this webinar is designed for individuals passionate about generative AI and its integration into teaching now without further ado i'm honored to introduce our esteemed speakers for today i'll begin with dr suleiman shahid dr suleiman shahid is an associate professor of computer science at lums and the founding director of lumsx dr suleiman's expertise spans various domains including human computer interaction usability and design driven innovation He is a pioneer in the field of open data initiatives in Pakistan and has been instrumental in driving digital transformation projects in both private and public sectors. For Samin, Samin is a graduate from Teachers College Columbia University specializing in instructional technology and media. Currently leading the instructional design team at Lumsex, she has previously worked with the International Rescue Committee in New York and brings a wealth of experience in creating inclusive learning materials for diverse audiences. Her work focuses on leveraging technology to enhance learning experiences and promote accessibility. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Suleiman and Samin. Thank you for, both for joining us. Just to kick off the discussion, I'd like to start by asking both our speakers a question after which you can dive into your presentations. Dr. Suleiman, I'd appreciate if you begin by answering and my question to you is how did you become interested in generative AI? What was that journey like and what has it been like so far? uh thank you very much um noor for this kind introduction uh, I, i think we had no choice uh, so it was not that i was overly passionate about it or ya mujhe koi bahut shock tha iske andar aane ka ya systematically socha i think we were left with no other option but to understand this new uh, mindset shift this new tool this new framework of thinking and how this gen ai is going to change is changing the way we think we work we live Uh, and of course are going to have a different impact on our lives so i think uh, it was a very natural transition uh, in in bringing gen ai uh, as a as a new way of thinking and as a new way of doing work into our lifestyle be as an academic be as a director of lumsex or be as an individual uh, to do certain things in home setting so i think was, I, i wouldn't say that I, i systematically thought about it but but as a computer scientist when you see such an exciting thing happening uh you you really want to understand it in depth and and you want to go deep into that and you don't want to stay at a surface level so i would say that 
uh, unlike many of my colleagues and friends, uh, what I decided is to understand it uh, from a very different perspective and, and how can we go deep into that and to think about it and ask some critical questions, which I'll try to highlight also in today's discussion, uh, because I think uh, the today's session uh, is designed for that. So yeah, um, that's my quick, honest answer to this. Thank you, Dr. Suleiman. Samin, what about you? First of all, thank you, Noor, for such a kind introduction. And I feel like I resonate with what Dr. Suleiman said, but I think I also want to share an anecdote. But to be very short and precise, I would say it's ability to do so many things and all of that very quickly. Um, so that's like the first thing that really got me interested into it. Um, I remember I was working with a LUMS professor on one of our courses. It was a LUMSX project in November 2022 when we were trying to put her course on our LMS and help her out as well. And it required students to submit their quizzes online and we were trying to automate the process for her. And she said that, what are we going to do if students use ChatGPT? And then the conversation just started across the university and across campuses everywhere. Uh, what if students start to cheat using this tool? And that's when I really started exploring the tool and checking out myself, okay, what is it about? Khali, ek use case to ho sakta is tool ka. And I found a lot of cool use cases and then experimenting with it, read a few papers and just its ability to turn into any persona and respond really excited me. And I think as an educator, I could also empathize with the anxiety that the community had on, you know, how are our students going to learn now? What will learning mean now that they can, you know, type and get anything? And then, of course, there are pros and cons to everything. And I think one thing that I learned while working with educational technology, which was which was nothing like artificial intelligence at Columbia, but was just to how to use technology meaningfully to help our community. And that's what has kept me going. And I've been trying to look uh, for such use cases in education as well ever since. Thank you, Samin. We're looking forward to both of you sharing your presentations. So I'll give the floor to Dr. Suleiman. Floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Ji. Let me share my screen. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. I'm all settled. So great, I'm happy to be here at this time in my mode. So I, I'll be moving around, moving my chair, trying to be as uncomfortable and comfortable as possible. So our uh, session, hai, we've been thinking about it for a long time. And then the title we gave was a learning how to teach with generative AI. And, and the topic has become very important for me, both as a director of LUMS X, but even more importantly, as a, a regular faculty member uh, at, at LUMS. Uh, so the agenda, uh, to be honest, is, is, uh, it can be as random as possible. And there are a few random thoughts I'm going to share with you. So bear with me, but I'm, I'm sure that you will find a story uh, in these random thoughts because I try to connect three different topics and, and try to give a uh, story out of it. Uh, and the, and I, I feel now the title was a trap. Uh, it's a trap in a sense that you might have come to understand some basic tools and techniques. And I think uh, I, I changed my mind and I, I wouldn't apologize for this because I think there's a very important reason that why did I change my mind. Uh, and and change my mind for a number of reasons, but also uh, because somebody died on April 19, uh, 2023. And uh, I will show you the picture of the person. I'm not sure how many of you uh, can guess this. Can you guess? If not, then let me give more details. So you can always type. If not, I can give even more details, 
even more details, even more details. And if not, it's perfectly fine. I'm sure you can remember, or you can know from this book, the Daniel Dan. And I, if not, then of course, this book, I've been thinking. So I had a chance to go over this book. Uh, I didn't know uh, about Daniel for a long time, but recently uh, the last book I've, be, I've been going through, we talked about his whole life. Uh, and some of us who know uh, him has seen his work. Uh, he has given some very, very interesting statements about AI. And he died and then there was a very interesting interview and he talked about this very important concept. He said, if we turn this wonderful technology uh, we have for knowledge into a weapon for disinformation, he told me, we are in deep trouble because we won't know what we know and we won't know who to trust and we won't know whether we're informed or misinformed. And we may become either paranoid or hyperskeptical or apathite and unmoved, but those are very dangerous avenues and they are upon us. So I think this is a very interesting and, and open invitation to look who we are, where we are heading, and how are we thinking about the construction of AI. So that's our first concept in the book I wanted to bring to your attention. Then a very different book. I, I'm, I'm sure everybody knows here, um, Harry Frankfurt, uh, and then his work on bullshit. And there's a very nice book. If you have not read it, I think we should read it uh, on bullshit. And then that's what he talks about bullshit. One of the most salient features of our culture is that there is so much bullshit. Everyone knows this. Each of us contributes his share, but we tend to take the situation for granted. We have no clear understanding of what bullshit is, why there is so much of it, or what function it serves. Uh, and we lack that you know, uh, appreciation, what it means to us. So he talked about very interesting phenomena of bullshit. But then even more importantly, he went further and he said, Bullshit is greater an enemy of truth than lies are. Although bullshit can take many innocent forms, excessive indulgence, it can eventually undermine the practitioner's capacity to tell the truth. But bullshit is greater enemy of the truth than the lies are. And why? Liars have a better relation to the truth than the bullshitters because they at least value the truth enough to hide it. Bullshit bullshitters don't care about the truth. They just say things without caring if it's true or not, and they're indifferent to it. The dark irony of all this is that so much brain power and energy is going into creating these AI tools, and it all produces is indifference in many, many ways. Right? So this is a very interesting way to look at it, that why uh, AI can be more related to bullshit and why very often it has the capacity to produce this bullshit and why we need to be more careful by dealing with bullshit than uh, the lies and hallucinations and all those uh, hypocrisies. So this is extremely important to begin with. And the starting point of these two statements is that why they're important and do we need to care about it? And my opening statement is, if not us educators, who else? We educators need to take the responsibility. We have to move from this to tool usage mindset to the problem solving mindset. And we cannot simply open a tool, AI tool, and start using prompts and ask our students, go ahead and use it, and we'll see what happens. We need to carefully craft the use of AI in educational settings. And when we craft the use of AI in educational settings, when we think about what AI is, what the philosophical side, sociological side, side of AI is. And I think with that informed mindset, we can design our learning experiences which are very meaningful and also appealing to the students and the larger audience. So this is extremely important to keep in mind when thinking about AI in educational settings. And then I want to reflect on very quickly the current approach, the way I have observed it in my classroom settings and the way students have used it. And I call it um, Gunai Be Lazit. Uh, you know, and uh, why I call it Gunai Be Lazit is that, you know, Luth, गुनाह में मिला और ना मजा सवाब में उम्र तमाम कट गई ताविशे इत्तेसाब में सो हमारा जो माइंडसेट है एआई को इस्तेमाल करने का वो यही है कि डर के इस्तेमाल करना है बचा के इस्तेमाल करना है पकड़े ना जाएं पता नहीं उसका हमें अलाउड होगा हमें नहीं होगा इट इट इस नॉट बीइंग इन्वॉल्व्ड इट इस नॉट बीइंग यूज uh, and of course, I ask GPT to give me an Urdu version and um, look what uh, GPT has done for us, you know, uh, and a very, very good Urdu uh, translation. So, you know, so 
माय पॉइंट इज दैट अगर हमारी जिंदगी सिर्फ इस चक्कर में गुजर रही है कि हमारा एहतसाब कैसे होगा तो ना हमें उसको इस्तेमाल करने का मजा आएगा और ना उसको इन सिस्टमेटिक तरीके से उसका बेस्ट बेनिफिट लेने का मजा आएगा ना अच्छे का मजा आएगा ना बुरे का मजा आएगा सो आई थिंक वी नीड टू गो बियॉन्ड दैट एंड दैट इज नॉट द राइट माइंड सेट वो एंड अगेन यू नो जिस तरह हम बच्चों के बारे में कहते हैं कि बेचैन बहुत फिरना घबराए हुए रहना जिस शहर में भी रहना उपताए हुए रहना and and i think the the students who are coming to us there's so much happening that another avenue to explore without any systematic framework is actually not going to help them it is going to give them another level of anxiety that they are going to use a tool in a very different way than their peers and there is no framework in place through which they can make sure that there is a fair equitable use of ai in classroom settings and people are getting the right benefit of ai in classroom settings because people can do what they want to do in a very unfair manner also so i think that's the current way we have introduced ai in classroom settings and there is a different approach the approach we are currently seeing at and that systematic approach is a more tool based approach and i wanted to talk about that approach but i'm not going to talk in detail samin is going to take care of that but i want to tell you that this this approach is not bad but we can still go further than that and that approach is that we think of how ai can be thought at an organizational level how students can benefit from it how educators can benefit from it how parents can benefit from it how school and university management can benefit from it how this ai can help us in different verticals in learning in career development in content creation in operational efficiency in research in academic integrity so there are there are frameworks in which ai can help us and then we try to use that ai in those frameworks then we also have developed a different type of a framework that uh, how learner supporting ai can be used and how teacher supporting ai can be used and how uh, institution supporting ai can be used and i think and then we go deep into that and we say which tools are available and how can we pick the right tool to make sure that there's a right use of the tool for the right context for the right problem to solve i think that's a very interesting approach that is much more systematic than give telling students can jaye aur jo marzi karke aa jaye right so i think it's still one step further than having this randomness uh, in the in our approach of bringing ai to a classroom settings but i think to me that's a good approach but that's not enough or at least i have not tried to use this approach in the way i try to you know use ai in classroom settings and i call it maybe there is a different paradigm shift and actually that's not really a paradigm shift it is just that we need to be as learner centered in the use of ai as we were before ai राइट सो हम एंड 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 ऐसा नहीं था कि ए आई से पहले हमें स्टूडेंट्स का ख्याल नहीं था वी आर नॉट लर्नर सेंटर्ड और ऐसा नहीं है कि ए आई के बने के आने के बाद हमें थोड़ा सा कम लर्नर सेंटर्ड होना सो आई थिंक द फ्रेमवर्क स्पीच है अडोप्टेड फॉर बैटर लर्निंग शुड स्टिल बी देयर यू नो एंड दैट्स दैट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दूसरा अप्रोच क्या है कि हम जो इशरत जिस्त है वो से कैसे हम हासिल कर सकते हैं और वो क्या है कि वी नो दैट समटाइम्स देर विल बी अ प्लेजर एंड समटाइम्स देर विल बी बिटरनेस sometimes there will be benefits and sometimes there will be downsides sometimes there you know uh, there will be and there will be new way of doing things and sometimes there will be you know a bad aspects of, about those things but is pure process ke andar we'll be able to discover the new reality and we'll be able to change the world collectively but the negotiation needs to ha- handle in this new way right in this jab gardish in kalab hai ye jo constant change hai उसको हम कैसे एम्ब्रेस कर सकते हैं इन अ मोर सिस्टमैटिक वे एंड हु विल बी आर पार्टनर इन दैट कम्युनिकेशन एंड कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड फॉर मी आर पार्टनर वुड बी आर स्टूडेंट्स एंड एजुकेटर्स नो बडी एल्स सो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट दे बिकम आर पार्टनर इन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड दे अंडरस्टैंड के हाउ दे कैन सपोर्ट अस इन मेकिंग श्योर दैट वी हैव अ गुड रिलेशनशिप इन ब्रिंगिंग ए आई टू द क्लास रूम्स सो पैराडाइम शिफ्ट इज असाइनिंग द ए आई यूज टू स्टूडेंट्स to help students learn with ai and help them learn about ai i think that's a extremely important thing many of our students look and understand ai at a surface level they have a surface knowledge helping students harness the upsides while actively managing the downsides and risks of using ai is extremely important especially when we are early stages of this wonderful tool jo ki hamari disposable ke upar disposal ke upar so i think that's the shift we need to have in our in our mindset so the approach i like to take and the approach i like to propose is that we go back to the same old approach that's craft a learning experience but when you're crafting a learning experience use ai but when you're using ai go beyond the transactional approach ki yaar is assignment mein kaise ai ko istemal kar lo main is quiz ko banane ke liye kaise kar lo 
So I think when you craft a learning experience, you take a global view of your a learning journey, and then you bring AI as a part of a companion uh, and not only in a transaction level, yaar, I'm a lazy person, then let's use AI to make a quiz. I think that's a very different way of going about it. So if we look existingly, if you have a back background education, and if not, we have well-established models. And one well-established model, which we all use uh, from a teaching and learning center, as well as at, at, at uh, you know, LumsX, is a backward design model. So backward design model, simple, kya hai, ke hame kya desired results chahiye, uske liye kya acceptable evidence hoga, and we have to design learning experiences and instructions. Design Very simple model, no rocket science. And we have learning goals, hai, assessments, hai, activities, hai, and we make sure they're all mapped. And same model can be used for bringing AI in our conversations. So take an example, a very famous thing, Bloom's taxonomy. You know, there's a new model which you know, talks about creating at the top. If we have that model, which I also use uh, in my conversations uh, while uh, to myself and to AI, I have experience craft kar sakta hon. I have a very you know, systematic use of that model in my learning experience. The first thing is that I try to see that what is AI role at each level of Bloom Taxonomy. I try to see how AI can support teacher, which is myself, and how it will support students also at each level. So there will be a framework for me to use AI at each level, and there will be a framework for students to support them at each level, or at least at some of those levels, depending on what course you're studying, depending on its complexity, or what you're creation to the creation. Right? So this is, this is extremely important. So this is a, a snapshot from my course outline, where I said that you have to map academic integrity and how you have to incorporate GPT ko in assignments. And then I specifically said two things. Utilize GPT for enhance your understanding, generate ideas. So these two things I have specifically told you that you can use GPT for this. But I think that's not enough. So what we, what we have done is that we say that we have level ke upar our pedagogical knowledge sharing and the corresponding assessment if 100 is the total number so how the distribution is happening is happening across all these levels that's the first thing we need to do which I have I have done second then I've said that how each of my quiz and in-class activity and midterm would be mapped on these things right that's a very natural thing to do and then third I said that there's a very big project component how would it map on this so that's a standard framework which we will we use. And then what, I, what I'm doing is that I'm trying to you get help of GPT in all these things in a systematic way. So for example, when I'm feeling lazy and I want to outsource my work, I can start in, in this way. I'm teaching the HCI course, or I'm covering the, the book, and this is this, I need five to 10 MCQs and blah, blah, blah. And then it gives me MCQ. And I call it a transactional approach because there's not much thought process. And this is not going to be beneficial because up surface touch and you're not going to get the best experience out of chat GPT for your tools. And I think you're not doing justice to the students and the tool also. Then second cheese ki hai ki I'm trying to navigate the Bloom taxonomy level. I'm going, I'm going more deep into that. I'm telling because I'm, I mean, I'm having this conversation with GPT for a very long time. It understands my courses, understand my 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 course outline. So I'm talking about it. Dekho, dekho, MCQ dene hai, complex hone chahiye, multiple jawab hone chahiye. Final year ke students hai, computer science ke alawa aur bhi hai. Unka current level ye hai. Aur mujhe Bloom taxonomy mein applying analyzing ke upar maine play out karna. Right? So mujhe uske upar mujhe kuch material do. And then it gives me a more complex MCQ, which is ten times better than this MCQ also gives me multiple answers. But then I ask, mujhe batao ke why D is not the right answer in certain case. And then mujhe itni lambi story sunata hai, or kehte, kehte ye ke D sahi bhi ho sakta hai, D galak bhi ho sakta hai, D ye bhi ho sakta hai, D ye bhi ho sakta hai. And this is where the big play and the tricky part is. Why you have, sometimes you need to know what you're asking. And sometimes you need to be expert in analyzing ke aapko wujhe GPT kya de raha. Because if you don't know your subject matter, if you're not subject matter expertise, then you will do more and more and more and benefit. So I think this is the play which we need to be very careful about how we can go forward in GPT. And so this is one very quick way. And this is how I'm doing it in, in, uh, for each level, for quizzes, for assignments. And then, you know, it's the second thing I use very actively in GPT ka, when 
for, of course, when I'm not lazy, when I'm actually using GPT as a thought partner. And when I'm using GPT as a thought partner, then I'm playing ideas with this. So then I'm very actively involved. Ke yaar, mujhe ye chahiye, help me give more idea. Wo, I, we have a very good dialogue. It's not having two monologues. Ke maine koi baat ki, usne jawab diya, or two independent monologues. Chal rahe. What we do, we are engaged in a very rich, enriching, intellectual, stimulating dialogue. And that is where you can get a lot of benefits from AI scenario generations. Ke under, and that is where your Bloom Taxonomy, ka, your deep version, hai, pure ka pura, wo aapko bahut beneficial. Hota hai. Again, we don't have time to go into the depth, but just giving you the high level idea okay, how a framework can help you to go deep and think about it in a systematic way of the use of GPT, uh, you know, in your, in your, from an education, educator perspective, say. But then, even more important cheese in today's conversation, I very quickly to tell you, uh, and then we go to the discussion, is that when you have a learning experience, when you design it, then you have to think about design it, Okay, what is the prospective use of the students is tool ka kya? So every time you're designing a, a assessment or experience, aapko dekhna ye ke students possibly GPT ko kaise istamal kar sakte hai to answer some of these questions. And can you guide them so that they can get the best out of it? Unko aap, so my, uh, my proposal and my thesis is ke aapne unko unguided ni chhoor dem. This is our responsibility as a part of our course experience that we design that experience also for them. And this is this is this is a fundamental uh, need. You will not be able to achieve results which you want to achieve. So very quickly, the same framework. Uh, educator ne isko iske liye istamal kiya, quiz banane ke liye GPT ko. And student ne usko istamal kaise kiya? Student is trying to use AI as a tutor. Ki yaar kitab mein ye likha hua hai, mujhe bata do. Ye mujhe concept samaj nahi aara. Can you give me, can you help me this thing? So all of a sudden, jo educator ne concept samjhaye, student GPT ke paas ja ke, usne AI ko tutor ka hat banaya, usse conversation start kar di. Jab usne wo conversation start kar di, to there's a very interesting framework to begin with to talk about jo hum aamare paas aas sakte hai. But we have to design that tutor experience. But all of a sudden, when I go to the other end, and where I need project-based GPT se help from the tutor ka mindset might not be the right mindset. There can be a tool ka mindset where you want to do a lot quickly, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him, or a mentor ka mindset. Or I have made this thing, I have data collected, can you please give me feedback, I am on the right track, or I have made this right question, give me feedback, de do, right? So a tutor ka mindset is a different mindset. Hai. Or GPT kisi or tana baat kar rahe, or ek mentor ka mindset, bilkul farak mindset hai, or GPT kisi or tana aapko reply kar rahe. So we need to design those experiences at a pass of part of a course journey, so that depending on the level of the taxonomy, we're engaging students at the right cognition and metacognition level. Uh, and that is thinking about the, what they're thinking is critical in this case. So that's my second very important uh, you know proposal so give you a very interesting uh, you know quick prompt ke maine gpt ko bola ye ke aapne mere students ke liye as a tutor behave karna so jab maine ye prompt diya to gpt ka jo reply aaya wo ye aaya ke as a positive supporter ai tutor i'm here to assist you in grasping new concepts could you tell me about your educational background after the please tell me about the topic my approach is to go you know wo mujhse baat kar raha as a tutor jab mujhse as a tutor baat kar raha hai usko main kehta hu thank you very much I would like to discuss Norman's book with you. Wo hai, that's a great choice. Norman ki kitab hai. This, 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 this. Mujhe, uh, affordance ke baare hai, aur ke baare hai. Uske baad, usko baat kiya hua hai ki tumne conversation karni hai. Conversation ko khatam nahi kar dena. Phir wo mujhse end pe poochta kya hai ki what specifically about Norman ki book you would like to discuss delve deeper? Are there particular concept sections which are challenging lag rahe hai? Usko maine bola ye ki yaar, I find the signifier concept very difficult. Wo kata, no problem at all. This signifier ka concept hai, ye yes, yes, chalta hai. You know, so, I have given a tutor ka experience diya. students usko karke, they can go deep and make use of that. So, so my the whole proposition is that, uh, you know, uh, and we can go deep into that in another avenue, we don't have time, that when we design the whole journey design karenge ke andar, so you will see that you will also benefit from it, students will also benefit from it, and eventually your goal is not that the grade is not, goal is that the kids will learn. The goal is that the learning experience will matter. Karega. So, my summary is that in summary, we need to look at crafting learning experience with AI. And when we talk about experience, it's an end to end experience. And the second thing is that we need to use systematic frameworks for that and systematic approaches for that. And that's 
it is extremely, extremely critical. So this is the major takeaway. And and because I'm a professor, I want to do one thing on this. And again, I'll close with Daniel's statement. Ke saath. And my statement is just because we can do it, we should not do it. And Daniel said, we should make it a mark of shame, not pride when you make your AI more human. Uh, I don't know if you will agree. I don't know if I fully agree. But I think that's the whole idea that we keep our mind open and we make sure that we ask open questions and we are thinking about it in a very careful fashion because it's going to be a this is going to change our lives. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, Samin, floor is yours now. Thank you, Dr. Suleiman. Thank you very much. Thank you, Noor. I am going to share my screen. Give me a minute. Okay. Can everyone see my screen? All right. I think uh, Dr. Suleiman put it all very well together. Um, and I think ek jo cheez jisse main apni presentation bhi shuru karna chahungi, jisse build karna chahungi, would be how we as educators need to be very intentional with our use of AI, right? We need to acknowledge it. It's there. As, a, as an educator, aap, you have to model that behavior as well. You need to acknowledge that this is a tool that your students are going to use. And as Dr. Suleiman said, plan for it. Think about ways in which your students are going to use it. And then identify that you can strategies bana sakte hai, jisse aap unhe ki, you know, this is the right way to use it and this is how you have you can use it. And in order for you to do that, you need to know how to use it yourself, right? You need to experiment with it. You need to start using it so you can know what this tool is and what it offers. So the first thing that I want to start with is how you can use a framework to interact with these common and generic AI tools. So, you have some specific tools that have very specific use cases and we'll come to that as well. But the first two tools are such as ChatGPT, uh, Microsoft Copilot, ho gaya, Gemini, ho gaya, which are very open. You give them a prompt and they do something for you. So that's a lot of data that they're working with. So, how do you interact with a tool like that that can do anything as an educator, right? So, this is the framework that we developed in our course. Um, so I've taken that excerpt from that course. Um, so, uske andar, so the first thing that you're going to do is that you need to specify what your AI will be for you, right? I am a teacher. I need, I'm seeking help as a teacher. I will define. You are an excellent science teacher. So, you have a persona. De diya, ke, you know, now you have narrowed it down. Aapne charge, let's say I'm charge GPT, se baat kar hai, right? I'm a charge GPT ko bata diya ki, you know, this is how I need you to act as. And now it's going to just focus on that. So that's the first thing that you have to do. Wo apne kar liya. And then you specify ki aapka sawal ke. You have to be very specific with it. Let's say, mujhe koi assessment ban maani hai. Ya koi ideas chahiye assessment ke liye. I will say, generate an assessment, an MCQ-based assessment. For what? This is where your you define your context for my fifth grade students, right? So you have done these two things. Now a lot of people stop there. They don't go like ahead. Now one thing that you need to understand is that it is not a search engine. It is called ChatGPT. It's a chatbot for a reason. You need to chat with it. So search engine mein kya hota hai? Jaise Google ek search engine hai. Aapne apne query likhi, aapko response aaya, or you know, you find out ki achha kaun si cheez bete rahe, aapne usko use kiya, and you move on. But this, but remi remember that this is a chatbot, you can chat with it, and the more you chat with it, the more specific it's going to get. So if you want to get to that specific outcome, aap usko batate rahe, ki you know, kaise wo bete kar sakti hai, Whatever that tool is, keep meddling in. This is the third step. So you're going to meddle in and try and revise 
your prompt and in order to get a revised response. Ab let's say maine ye prompt dala. Mujhe aate hain MCQ questions and I, I realize ki you know my students come from a way, varied level of understanding. कुछ बच्चे हैं जो बिगिनर लेवल पे हैं कुछ बच्चे हैं जो एक्सपर्ट लेवल पे हैं कुछ इंटरमीडिएट लेवल पे हैं अब मैं आई विल मेडल इन एंड आई विल टेल माई टूल कि यू नो वर्ट वाई डोंट यू रीजेनरेट विद थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज बिगिनर टू एक्सपर्ट फिर मुझे आता है वर आई हैव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन नाउ दैट आई कैन नाउ यूज इन माई क्लास रूम अब जरूरी नहीं है आई विल यूज एम एज इट इज मैं एलेबरेट भी उस पर कर सकती हूँ आई कैन कंटिन्यू टू मेडल इन टिल आई गेट द राइट रिस्पॉन्स और आई कैन यू नो रिमूव स्टेफ फ्रॉम एट अगर मुझे लगता है कि दिस इज लाइक टू लॉन्ग फॉर मे सो आई डू दैट दैट्स माई फोर्थ स्टेप अब ऑर्गेनिकली द फिफ्थ स्टेप वुड बी टू ट्राई इट आउट एंड सी वट हैपन गो टेक इट टू माई क्लास मैंने अपने काम के साथ मेरा लेसन प्लान था उसके साथ मैंने इस तरह से असेस किया ऑफ कोर्स साथ साथ मैंने अपनी लर्निंग्स भी अप्लाई की अब यू डोंट हैव टू स्टॉप देयर आई एम नॉट दिस इज वेयर डॉक्टर सलमान भी इस चीज के ऊपर बिल्ड कर रहे थे कि यू नो डोंट टेक व्हाट इट व्हाट इट शेड द टू दीस टूल्स शेयर फ्रॉम फॉर व्हाट इट इज एज इट इज यू नीड टू बी वेरी क्रिटिकल अब एक तरीका तो ये है कि पहले तो आपने एक लेवल पे क्रिटिकली उसको इवेल्यूएट कर दिया दूसरे लेवल पे आपने उसको अप्लाई किया और तीसरे लेवल पे आप इस टाइम पे रिफ्लेक्ट करेंगे और देखेंगे कि अच्छा इसमें से कौन सी चीज है दैट दिस टूल गॉड राइट और कौन सी चीज है दैट इट डेंट सो लेट से कि मैंने अगर अपने बिगनर लेवल के बच्चों को एक कुछ सवाल दिए जो चार जी ने कहा था बिगनर लेवल के हैं वट इफ दे वर एट एन एक्सपर्ट लेवल मे बी द डेटा सेट जो उस टूल ने उठाया है वो किसी ऐसी जगह से था जो जहाँ के बच्चे बिगिनर लेवल पे ही हमारे पाकिस्तान के बच्चों से जो है वो ना कि एक्सपर्ट के बराबर होते दिस इज जस्ट लाइक एन हाइपोथिस राइट मैंने अभी जस्ट एन जस्ट फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल तो यू नो सी वट वर्क मे बी इट वर्क मे बी इट डेंट एंड द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कम बैक टू द टूल यू नो कि यू नो ये एस्पेक्ट में ठीक था इस एस्पेक्ट में इम्प्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है मे बी आई टेक केयर ऑफ दैट माई सेल्फ एंड दिस इज हाउ आई कैन यूज इट सो यू कंटिन्यू टू आई टू रेट अडेप्ट सी वॉट इट कैन डू प्रैक्टिस एंड दैट्स हाउ यूर गोइंग टू गेट बेटर विद दीज टूल्स फ्रीली अवेलेबल हैं जितना आप इस्तेमाल करेंगे और जितना आप स्ट्रक्चर्ड तरीके से इस्तेमाल करेंगे द मोस्ट यूल गेट आउट ऑफ इट सो यू नीड टू हैव दैट माइंड सेट के इसके साथ इन टूल्स के साथ ठीक तरह से अपने इंटरक्ट कैसे करना है अब दिस वॉज लाइक फॉर टूल्स दैट आर कॉमनली अवेलेबल वेरी जेनेरिक दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज दैम अब आई वॉन्ट टू डेमो कुछ स्पेसिफिक टूल्स जो होती हैं जो स्पेसिफिक यूज केसेस के लिए होती हैं हाउ वट दैट कैन लुक लाइक गिव मी एन सेकेंड All right. Um, can you guys see my screen? All right. Perfect. Um, so, अभी मैं एक specific tool पे हूँ, which is called Eduate dot AI. So you can see the interface of this tool. Um, we have a bunch of things that we can do on the left hand side. So I have a generator that has a lot of options. जिसको अभी हम साथ explore करेंगे. I have an assistant which can do things that I might if I am a teacher and I need assistance I can think of email likha sakti hu main class ki announcements bhijwa sakti hu so things like that the assistant can do for you then you have the feedback board which is a, a tool in which you can put in the work that you need feedback on add your own rubrics and then get feedback so we'll explore this as well Um, पहले आते हैं जनरेटर के ऊपर um, so you can see एक चीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आई वुड ड्रॉ योर अटेंशन टू वुड बी टू दिस डिस्कलेमर सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड योर रोल इन इंटरक्शन विद दीज टूल्स सो आई वुड लाइक टू रीड आउट वन सेंटेंस दैट आई फील इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
human oversight is crucial to contextualize, validate, and enhance the AI's output. So it's only going to work if there's oversight, if there's a collaboration between the teacher and the tool. So it is, as Dr. Suleiman said, your thought partner. It's an object to think with, a tool to think with, to help you. It is not the solution. So I want you to have that mindset whenever you use an AI tool. So I want to do something fairly simple at first. Let's go to the unit plan, um, which is let's create a unit plan, right? Um, ye drop down mein aap select kar sakte hain, whichever subject. Let's stick to science. And honestly, let's stick, stick to fifth grade students as well. Koi bhi grade aap select kar lein. Theek hai? So it gives you a bunch of options. I'm going to stick to that. Um, hold on. This is where. Okay, so I can enter any topic or a keyword over here. So I'm going to do just that. Um, let's say. Lesson plan on climate change. Ab, I've been very, honestly, very careless with this. I not so thoughtful way to write it. I didn't give a persona. I don't need a persona because it's for educators. It knows that an educator is using it. So my time will not be on it. The other thing is that you have to add your keyword. Don't need to worry about the whole sentence and like making sure it's phrased correctly. If you want to do that, go ahead. But it can actually do that for you. So if you click on Enhance, so this will enhance your question and better it better so that the tool can then understand it better. So students will develop an understanding of climate change. It causes impact solutions through engaging lesson activities. So there you have it. It's a way better question than what I asked. So it did that for me. Now I'm going to add it to my workspace and ask and see what it generates, right? Now, I have the unit overview, the objectives are with it. With it, I have prior knowledge that, you know, this is what they need to know before you can actually teach them. A good breakdown of objects, activities, and assessment. Now, in it, like, it took it, like, less than a minute to do that. But I think one more interesting thing that is in it, like, in addition to all of this, you can you know copy it and you can edit it however you like. So this is like good for my brainstorming. But I'm also interested in the review game. Lesson seed be there or anchor chart. Multiple options. Hai. But I want to check out uh, what this review game is about. So, so not only did it develop this interesting lesson plan for me, is it also gave me a game that my students can play. I think a lot of times we're looking for ways to engage our students more in like some topics that tend to get boring. So this is a great way to do that. Or like I didn't have to spend a lot of time. Of course, I can still adapt and see that my class may my students go but it's a great start. I wasn't thinking about it before, but now I know okay, this is something that I can do. So I feel like this is where these tools can really help you. So yeah, this was like a demo of the unit plan. I'm gonna try something new now. Achha, ab, uh, let's see how, how well it does at rubric generation. Before that, you can also, you know, use a specific lesson plan tool. Just can there a 5e model ke upar aapka lesson plan map. Kar deta. Let's do that really quickly. Uh, just to show you guys, that how it on our 5e model, the first lesson plan was, how it map it. So, on phase, it has given me activities. You have to engage, pe aapne ye karna hai. this is your objective. What will be your activity in Explore, mein kya hoga? explain, elaborate, evaluate. Ab I would want to connect it to what Dr. Suleiman was say, saying in his presentation as well, that Bloom's taxonomy ke har level pe bhi map karke dekhe, ke aap kis tarah se AI us level ko kaise support kar sakti hai, right? 
how it can help you reach that level or complete that level within the learning process. So similar to that, this is another model or uske andar wo aapko map out karke de hai ki, you know, this is how you can conduct this lesson. Did that really quickly. So it's maybe zyada time nahi laga. Again, a great way to save time and to be more thoughtful about what you're trying to teach. Um, so I will stick with this topic and let's say ki ab rubric ek generate karna hai for an assignment on climate change. Students will, let's say, write an essay this time. I'm going to add this to my workspace and see ke how well it does with the rubric generation. Here we go. Okay. So it's named like very, this is, this looks very neat to me. There's a table and there, there are a bunch of criterias and then points on how to grade them. There's knowledge of climate change. Of, and I love how, how thoughtful this tool is uh, because it's not an English essay, right? It's a, it's a science essay. So it understands that. And a criteria, you know, knowledge of climate change. Ki, um, organization kya hai, clarity kitni hai writing mein. So this is like another way in which you can use it. Um, a core cheese that's really cool uh, is that or is maybe aapke paas options hai, and if you want to present it in slides, let's see. Then I think you click on this and there you have it. You have a slide show key outline. This can the you know this is pretty upko organize karke bata diya ke slide 1 mein aapne ye likhna hai slide 2 mein is tarah se jaye you know overall i mean i could like just copy this and put it on my you know powerpoint iske andar main pictures dal sakti hu specific textbook ki cheeze dal sakti hu and i can you know work with this this is a great starting point for me agar if i want this in a slideshow format so there are multiple things that um, it can do for you so which is why it's a really great thought partner for you. I also want to try something else. Um, let's copy this rubric. And I want to go to the feedback board, which I was talking about earlier. Um, so this feedback board is going to help you with your with giving feedback on, let's say, this essay that you just um, had your students write. Obviously, there are multiple ways to go about it. Let me clear this up. Taki interface three less overwhelming. Um, so there are multiple feedbacks that you can ask it for a typographic hai, syntactical hai, semantic or custom feedback. Hai. Ab, I feel like custom feedback is really cool because you can add your own rubric over here. So basically, the way you can co-create with AI is that you decide on a rubric, you create that rubric. Give it an assessment and see ke wo kaise create karte hai. So right now I'm just going to use the rubric abhi jo humne copy kiya tha. You can use your own. And let's try and grade an essay using this. Abhi I'm going to go to chat GBT and you know copy this um, and paste it here. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. So I'm going to paste the assignment over here. So custom feedback and let's see what happens. It's working on the feedback report and so according to my rubric, this student, which was chat GPT, by the way, um, got two points on knowledge of climate change. Wo score bhi kar hai, aur wo saath saath bata bhi rahe, 
कि क्यों उसको ये पॉइंट्स दिए दूसरा क्राइटेरिया वॉज एंगेजमेंट इन लेसन एक्टिविटीज दैट इज ऑल्सो फुली मेट सो आई थिंक जितना अच्छा लाइक चार जी बी टीज प्रिटी गुड एट राइटिंग दिस ऐसे आई गेस सो इट्स अ गुड स्कोर ओवरऑल बट वट आई रियली लाइक अबाउट दिस टोल इज नॉट दिस पेट इट्स दिस पेट सो पहले तो आपको उसने ग्रेड कर दिया ना कि यू नो दिस इज वेर द स्टूडेंट्स और दिस पर्सन स्टैंड the next step thing is actionable steps for improvement so it goes another level and tells you how what kind of feedback you need to give your students so that they can improve unke kon kon se areas hain in which they can improve which is pretty neat to me so maine ek to time save kar liya mujhe pata hai ki ab actionable steps kya hain mere student ke liye um I can have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my students now, and I can tell them that you know, ये ये areas हैं जिसमें आप improve कर सकते हैं. अब let's say कि मेरे दस students हैं जिनमें से पांच students का एक ही मसला है, then I know I need to reform my teaching, and I need to do something differently because it's not possible that most of my students are like on the same level where they don't understand the same thing the same way. So it gives me, it adds a lot of meaning to my and thoughtfulness to my teaching i can improve it i know where what where my students are struggling what are their needs and how I, what can i do to improve their learning so this is where this uh, aspect can help you um if you go to chat it's very similar to like any of the generic tools in ki maine aapko bataya चार जी पी टी वगैरह आप ओपन एंडेड सवाल इस पे पूछ सकते हैं और सपोर्ट ले सकते हैं देन वी गो टू दी असेसमेंट बिल्डर अगेन यूज द एट द ग्रेड लेवल यूज द की वर्ड और मे बी लाइक अ स्टेम क्वेश्चन स्टेम एंड देन आप उसके अंदर यू कैन एड इन लाइक विच एवर फॉर्मेट यू वॉन्ट एंड इट आज दैट फॉर यू एंड ऑल्सो रिटेन्स योर हिस्ट्री सो यू नो यू कैन गो बैक टू your content so i am going to pause sharing now and and yeah that was it from my end and i hope this helped you start thinking about a new way to approach this tool how you can be more thoughtful with your teaching and how you can constantly innovate with this tool that you have with the, at your disposal now so thank you so much thank you samin that was a wonderful demonstration um i'm sure most of the educators here will be surprised to see how much just that one tool has covered and uh, also thank you to dr suleiman for covering a very high level discussion of ai and its utility um before we go into the q and a session we we mentioned in the email that we wrote to everyone that there is an exciting announcement that we have and before i make that announcement i'd like for our participants to watch a video after which i will explain what that announcement is and then we will dive right into the q and a session manahil can you please share the video Imagine you're in a classroom. Your students are taking a quiz on their English language skills. In 40 minutes you are to engage them in a group activity. One student, Sarah, is bright, structured and gets her work done quickly. Then there's another student, Hamza, who is creative and loves to sketch out his ideas. What are you as a teacher going to do to plan a classroom activity which caters the needs of both? You now have 35 minutes. What you need is a personalized learning solution. and you will run into such needs in the classroom on a daily basis to help you produce solutions that are not only efficient but also relevant exciting and informative for your students you need a powerful tool an ally that can simplify your teaching and solve creative problems quickly 
AI in classroom strategies and tools for educators will help you transform the learning and teaching experience in your classrooms. We'll walk you through prompts and tips to help you plan lessons, carry out research, create effective assessments, and provide personalized feedback. Paying careful attention to our local context, we'll focus on strategies that help produce culturally relevant teaching for your students. Confused about your own role? We will tell you about tasks for which you can rely fully on AI and areas in which you can intervene to augment its potential. To help you ensure the ethical use of AI, we will talk about overcoming its biases and limitations and developing a policy around it for your institution which is fair and transparent. For a self-paced learning experience, the course will be available to you on the Ilmex platform, comprising templates, resources, and reading material, providing you with a necessary toolbox to enhance your teaching. Whether you're an instructional designer or a K-12 teacher, we aim to enable you to transform the learning experience of your students, making it effective and engaging. So join LumsX and become a part of a new chapter of revolutionizing education in Pakistan. All right, so for those of you who've been with us from the very beginning, perhaps you will understand now why we specially had Dr. Sunuman and Samin join us. They are the SMEs, the subject matter experts for our latest course, LumsX's latest course, AI in the Classroom, Strategies and Tools for Educators. So just to reiterate what the course is about, it is tailored to address the requirements of K-12 educators in Pakistan primary objective is to familiarize teachers with generative AI to empower them to leverage this technology to address teaching challenges and improve their existing methodologies. There is a unique focus on Pakistan's educational landscape. So this course will provide you tutorials and resources to craft learning material, lesson plans and assessments that fit your classroom and your context. Distinguishing itself from other offerings in Pakistan, this course stands out by providing specialized training on specific generative AI tools alongside commonly used ones. So for all of you who have been with us throughout the series, you might have heard us referring to this uh, course because we were sort of building up the hype. This is upcoming and now it has launched. We will be sharing an enrollment link with you in the chat for those of you who are interested in um, signing up for it. If you want us to customize the course for your school and perhaps you would like to take it in a cohort, we can also do that. We will be sending you an email after this webinar in which we will give you all the important Oh. Other people can other people can hear me, and if you can hear me, I think we can. I think so, Noor, your voice bilkul end pe chale gaye the. Uh, you wanna you wanna oh, say that again? Okay, can, people, okay. Good, yeah, good, good, other good. people can hear, so I think yeah, it's hard. Sorry, sorry. So I was just saying, okay, we will be sending out an email in which you will know where to reach out reach out to us in case you want us to customize this course for your school. Um, there's a lot of hard work that, that's gone into it. The webinar series that we are currently in was also created for this purpose so that we can start a conversation and discuss the potential and role of generative AI in different contexts, but especially in schools. So we're very, we're very proud of this course, and we really hope that it benefits all those who are in the webinar, but also beyond. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the Q&A session. So for those of you who can see there is a Q&A feature right next to your chat. So you can enter your question and I will sift through those questions and let D Dr. Suleiman know and Samin know which questions they can address. Alternatively, you can share them in the chat as well, but you can also use the Q&A feature. So I'll give you a minute. Anyone who has any questions, please put them down. Dr. Suleiman, the first question is from uh, Zara Amir. She's asking about the quote at the end of your presentation and what it means. Um, you mean the, the quote, it would be, um, let me open it again and then. 
we should make it a mark of shame, not pride, when you make your AI more human. That's that's what you're talking about, Zara. Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. It's a it's a very complicated discussion and a little too philosophical for a webinar like this. But I think historically, I've I've been trained as a as a designer uh, in in using design frameworks to, for problem solving. And very often we used to ask ourselves, uh, you know, when we're discussing the philosophy of design, is that should we make it, right? And just because we can make it, should we continue? Because there's there's, there's a lot of harm uh, we can do in the world, and we have we have not done that because we stopped ourselves from doing that, right? For a very long time, we had a chance to disturb the world, but we'd not do it as humans because we know we're going to it's going to be harmful. So I think the fundamental question which our generation and your generation, the next generation need to ask, where do we stop? And 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 sh should we stop or not? Because there could be a very strong argument that it might be a perfect and great idea to make it human-like. Uh, I will not subscribe to that, but there might be enough people out there who would like to have it. So I think what the previous generation is saying to us, a lot of sane people, uh, which we think they're sane, saying to us that, you know, be very careful. Uh, and and be very uh, you know mindful and deliberate in all those attempts uh, because unstructured uh, systems, uh, systems which we don't fully understand, can subsystems can come together and make a system which works very well, like a human system. So a lot of subsystems in humans which we don't understand fully, in including brain, you know. And but still, as a human, we work very well. So I think the same thing they say about AI that. Uh, well, uh, the systems which we don't understand well can come together and make a system which can actually beat us at, at every level. Shall we do it? I don't know. My I, my idea was that I want you to leave the I want you to leave with this question. At least spend the night on thinking about it. Right. Thank you for that. Um, one question that we have. Would you say that the course that we've just launched is one that students can also take? There's someone asking, what about how to use AI as students? Uh, Samin, would you please go ahead and then I can also comment on that. Sure. Um, of course, I think when I think about using AI in educational context, a lot of things are replicable. So what we've taught in the course... Primarily, it's for K-12 educators, instructional designers, and folks in education, but students are also being educated, right? They're at the receiving end of it. So there's a lot of thoughtful ways uh, that we have shared within our course, just may up inside the classroom be or outside the classroom and like creatively we I use kar sakte. So I think those are things that are applicable to students as well. While students are not our primary audience for this course, but they can for sure benefit from the ideas that we have. Because of course, it's like a very synchronized process. Students ke baare mein humne socha tha jab humne ye course banaya tha. So definitely if you're a student and you want to take this course, you will get something out of it. Right. Another uh, question we have. Yeah. Sorry, Dr. Summer, would you like to say something? No, no, please, please go ahead. So another question we have is, should we be able to, I think the question is that her subject um, ki teacher is ko le sakti hai na? It applies across subject yeah. teachers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. They so can, that, you know, so uh, I think the idea, idea is that when you go as an English teacher, the way you interact with the tool would be very different when you go as a science teacher. So that's why I think the context setting is very important. What do you want to get out of is very important. So th think of it, unfortunately, as a human being, you know, and and imagine that you are a stranger. And you say to a stranger, you say to a stranger, you know, immediately you say to a stranger, that you have to eat something that I like. And you say, brother, you have to get eight days in the morning. You are saying to a stranger, you are saying to a stranger, how do you know that you have to get something that you like? So what? So imagine now you go to your friend. And you say, yaar, meri marzi ki cheez la do. He or she wouldn't ask a single question and would present to you what you really wanted to have. So what we're trying to say here, build that relationship with AI. Invest in that. Spend time on it. Give AI context. Give AI how you think. And that's a very dangerous thing I'm saying. You need to be very careful because what you're saying, you're 
you're building a personality of yourself in a relationship with AI and then AI trying to understand you. But actually that is happening everywhere. You're giving that personality to Spotify, to Netflix, to Amazon, to Daraz, to everywhere else. So now education may be a check on the list of all the personality of the data of the way you can be both better. So us context ke under her up boss about this calm cast. But then, uh, then up key cross pollination be here, which means given an AI tool understands you as an English teacher, some of that knowledge can also be now taken when you start teaching, let's say park study. Hopefully you, we wouldn't, but imagine you have to. So, and if you're, if you are a math teacher or you have additional math, then you can conversation there. I think that relationship building is very, very important. I hope Saras answers your question. Right, that makes sense. Um, we have an interesting question. So this is someone from Beacon House who's saying, is it even necessary for us to be using AI for lesson planning? Like, is it now a requirement or do you think we can do without it? I really want to answer this question. Sure, May sure. I? I think uh, I would say yes. It is not It is not a requirement, but if you want to learn and if you want to move ahead and match what the, what the education landscape is like, then yes. If you're not using it, your students are certainly using it. It's a new tool. It's just like the internet. You can't, you can't ignore that internet exists, right? If it's a tool, if it's accessible to everyone, you might as well prepare that, you know, kiska istamal kya hoga. So yes, if you want to learn how your students are thinking about it and you want to have develop better strategies around your learning, and if you want to try something new, I think there's no harm in that for sure. And as teachers, we're always the most overworked people. We have a lot going on, so it never hurts to, you know, save some time. So use I, I feel like it is very important. Um, yeah. Mera is me see map ek jo jawab hai wo ye hai ki imagine kare ki aapki cousin aayi hai America se wapas PhD karke climate change ke andar aur aap sham ko baithi hai chai pi rahi hai computer aapne khola hua hai aur aap wo aapse poochti hai aap kya karna cha rahi hai aap keh rahi hai yaar subah meri assignment hai maine bachon ko climate change pe presentation deni hai aur aur main ye lesson bana rahi hu and now you know ke she is the one who knows the most about it what would you do? Would you say, yaar, main isse bilkul nahi puchna? Ya aap ye kehengi, ke, yaar, can you please quickly help me so that I have 10 minutes and you have knowledge and my knowledge and you can interesting thing develop kar sakte. So as a human, you know, we will open ourselves and we'll say, ke, yaar, jahan jugaar lag sakti hai, wo bhi lagayen, jahan efficiency aas sakti hai, wo bhi aayen, aur jahan pe value create ho sakti hai, wo bhi ho. So I think, again, all these things can be done with the help of AI. It's just that, ke, which mindset are we bringing? And it's not that it's a mindset that there's no inferiority in our thinking. Ke andar, but the mindset is that it's actually a win-win. You want to help students learn better. And where you get an extension, milti hai, why not? We should do that. So I think I'll give it to you. I'll ask my friends too. And I'll eat his knowledge. So one friend who can eat his knowledge every time, you can also eat his knowledge every time. You won't say that you can just do it. What an amazing friend that, that tool is. Why not? Thank you for that. Um, another question we have from Atik. How can AI play a significant role in tailoring educational content in languages in rural communities of Pakistan? Whoever would like to take that question. I can tell you quickly. I have talked about you in a little bit of 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 उसने मुझे कितना जबरदस्त उसकी कॉम्प्रिहेंशन दी है यू नो सो लैंग इन द कमिंग डेज दिस लैंग्वेज अंडरस्टैंडिंग कॉम्प्रिहेंशन वुड इंप्रूव अ लॉट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन एंड दैट्स वेयर वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट अगर हम उसका इस्तेमाल करते हैं और उसकी डिमांड आती देखिए दिस इज अ कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड जिस चीज की जितनी डिमांड होगी लोग उस पर उतने पैसे लगाएंगे तो एटलीस्ट हमें रीजन का तो पता नहीं है बट हमें उर्दू के मामले में तो वी नीड टू पुश इट वेरी वेरी हार्ड the more we ask GPT about Urdu, the, the more they will see there is a value. The more people are asking, there's a better ROI. You know, again, and then the corporate sector would come and make sure that the gap is filled. Jadak boss, regions regional language ka taluk hai, I'm not too sure about it. I think that, that will take some time. But if English is Urdu, mein chale hai, I think that's a good starting point. And I, I'm a true believer that I equate Urdu as one of the la national languages 
with Pashto, with Sindhi and other languages, you know, so I don't think as an only national language. I think other lang languages are equally important. It's actually interesting because the last webinar that we hosted in this series actually spoke about this new chatbot that's being yeah. developed that will be using local languages as well. I, As far as I know, it's still in development and they're in a testing phase, but people within Pakistan are trying to cater to this issue as well of local languages and rural communities in their context. So for anyone who's interested in that topic, you can always go back and watch the second webinar in the LumsX AI webinar series. So another question we have, um, Ali has asked, could we take the content of our course outlines from AI? I mean, the course outlines of an authentic university. I'm not sure I understand the question, but I mean, if... Say, rephrase Karwala in the meanwhile, I think we have a question from Musa and Rabia also. Sure, we can take Rabia's question. Uh, could you please share some of the useful AI tools helpful for educators in curriculum designing or lesson planning? Actually, um, so what we do, uh, we practice follow karte hai, webinar ke baad, ek humne jo discuss ki hoti hai, tools wo bhi or future tools that you can work with. Uh, we share those as well. But there are a couple of very interesting tools that we have shared in our course. So I will plug that in. But we'll definitely send up a follow-up email and share the curriculum development tools. I think Noor Ali ka sawal, just jo mujhe samaj aya, wo ye hai ki aap course outline jo hai, wo apni puri ek university ek course ki banwa sakte hai, aise ki nahi. Yes, but I will not recommend it. Aap as a teacher, if you want to be thoughtful about your students, as I have, we have been reiterating throughout the course that we have developed, that you know your students best. You know what you need to do with your children. You can brainstorm with AI. You can ask them, what kind of competency I have achieved, what kind of course I have achieved, what kind of way it can be. But be very mindful that only you know what your students need and use your expertise and combine that with the tools expertise. So we'll not encourage it, but that's something that is possible. Yes. Right. Okay. I would say Musa's second question is also similar, but I'll read out the first one. Uh, what is the right mindset when using AI? And the second is what are the boundaries? How and where should AI be used and not used? It seems this is directed towards Dr. Suleiman, but both of you can chip in. No, I, I don't know. I, I think maybe how do you watch Netflix? You know, so what do you see? What do you not I think you make a decision. You understand what is good and what is bad. What is your taste? You can take the direction of that direction. You know, what, what is, how do you know something should not be watched? Uh, or how do you know something should be watched? One can be a high level. But more importantly, I think the right mindset comes from the जो मैं बार बार कोशिश करता हूँ लोगों को बताने की भी अपनी क्लास के अंदर भी कि टूल के इस्तेमाल का माइंडसेट नहीं होना चाहिए प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने का माइंडसेट होना चाहिए ठीक है सो एआई एस अ वेरी ब्रॉड फ्रेमवर्क ऑफर अस हंड्रेड्स ऑफ टूल्स एंड मैक्रोनिज्म्स एंड टेक्नि� so, we have to see what we are doing problem. What is my problem? What is my problem? What is my creation? Ka, and again, if I am doing taxonomy, I am doing it. I think we should see AI ko ke paas jana ke, look, this is the problem, and I come to you. In this case, I am a tutor, in this case, I am a feedback, de do, usme ye kar lo. but the problem should be the driving force and not that I have to do something in this tool. Because there is a GPT, so I will see something in this tool. So, I think that's, my, that, that's the first thing. And the boundary and how and where it should not be should not be used. I think there's a very important question which for me, every educator, but even more importantly, every student should be asking. It's the same problem that we have to do that you can use the calculator. You can do 2 plus 2 plus 4 with the calculator. Why do you say that you can use the calculator in the first class? Which of the basic skills are we say that the table is used? Why do we need to remember the basics? And when we say that at this stage, the stage will be allowed. We don't say that Cambridge is also the same. You have the IB system also. These are the boss systems. So I think the same framework we will learn 
कि हम किस किस्म की प्रॉब्लम्स के लिए एआई का यूज नहीं होना चाहिए बिकॉज वो जैसे हमारी अम्मा कहती है कुंद जेंद हो जाओगे वो कुंद जेन कब हो जाओगे कब नहीं हो जाओगे आई थिंक उस पर लॉर ऑफ रिसर्च नीड्स टू बी डन इन द कमिंग ईयर्स एंड इन कमिंग एक्चुअली डेज एंड मंथ्स कि वो कहाँ पे रोक देना चाहिए हम क्लास में कहते हैं कि यार अगर आपका थॉट पार्टनर है तो थॉट पार्टनर से पहले आप अपनी कॉन्वर्सेशन ए से स्टार्ट ना करें हैव यू डन योर ओन होमवर्क आपने दिमाग का वो बेसिक इस्तेमाल किए या नहीं किए बिकॉज यू कैन ओनली गेट द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ ए आई वेन यू ऑल्सो हैव पुश योर ओन बाउंड्री एज ए ह्यूमन बींग जो आपके पास दुनिया का कॉन्टेक्स है जिस तरह आपने दुनिया को देखा है जीपीटी ने कभी इस दुनिया को ऐसे नहीं देखा बिकॉज एज अ यूनिक ह्यूमन यू हैव लुक्ड एट द वर्ल्ड इन अ वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट वे अगर आप लाहौर की गली में बड़े हुए हैं दरून शहर में बड़े हुए हैं आपका ए जो आपको जवाब दे रही है हो सकता है वो सेफ जवाब दे जो कि डी एच की गली में बड़े वाले बच्चे को दे रही हो लेकिन जिस तरह आपने लाहौर को देखा जैसे डी के बच्चे ने लाहौर को देखा वो बहुत फर्क है सो वाई डोंट यू वॉन्ट टू यूज दैट पावर फॉर योर बेनिफिट यू नो इन द बिगिनिंग सो आई थिंक दैट्स अ बिग मिस्टेक जो हम कर रहे हैं कि हम बगैर सोचे समझे कहते हैं ए आई गिव मी एन आंसर थैंक यू वेरी मच असाइनमेंट डन ए प्लस गो होम आई थिंक दैट माइंड सेट हैज टू चेंज इन माई हम वेरी वेरी हम्बल ओपिनियन वेरी हम्बल ओपिनियन राइट Thank you for that. Uh, before we move on to the other questions, I just like to address one that uh, I saw in the chat. So, Maimuna asked, "I'm assuming she's asking if this course is for teacher trainers in Kashmir. Uh, definitely, it is. So, I'd like to reiterate, Lums X ke jatne courses ham apko um, we're telling you about or you see on they're on online. And when I say online, they're in two specific formats." one is asynchronous or self paced where you enroll yourself in a course and you finish it at your own time and then there are live taught courses in ki live classes hoti hain ai ka jo course hum abhi aap se share kar rahe hain this is a self paced asynchronous course so isme we can all, always offer you live content but that is on demand if that is something you feel or your school requires um but the point of it being online is ke anywhere you can take it from anywhere in pakistan whether you are from kashmir or punjab or balochistan that is the whole point of our work and it being online so just wanted to um address that question one other question that we have from general manager or ek cheez i really wanted to add uh, with this was ke we are already starting a cohort with, for this course with teachers from another city because you know they said ki you know this is a requirement and you would want to take this course but modify it so hamare ek aur cohort shuru ek cohort shuru ho raha hai on may 1st so that is something that we are currently looking at as well so if you think you are in, in interested in doing that then we are happy to address that as well otherwise you can also take the course independently self paced apni marzi se thank yeah. you we would love to thank support you. on that you know um khas tor pe you know kashmir ke andar if we can uh, have a, a dedicated cohort for students there or teachers there would love to do that i think babar saab ka sawal hai from view se babar saab so um ye kyunki we have designed it for uh, teachers so uh, it doesn't matter are you k5 or k12 because as a teacher you will bring that mindset uh, to the tool and then use it for your own audience so i think this will be very relevant for the di- diverse background uh in pakistan and the for teachers of diverse background so this should work very well the 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 the, the course so sir i'm just going to rephrase or paraphrase what uh, ali has asked so for example if you do come across a student whose answer you can clearly tell has been used has been written using chat gpt how would you even address that how would you talk to that student about the approach that they've taken and perhaps ask them to do it differently uh लुक यू नो सो एक चीज मैंने आपको जैसे अपनी क्लास में दिखाई एज अ फैकल्टी वी हैव मेड इट वेरी वेरी क्लियर दैट वी विल नॉट टॉलरेट द यूज ऑफ जी पी टी अगर आपने उसको साइट नहीं किया होगा एब्सोलूटली नॉट दर इज ओनली वन वार्निंग एंड उसके बाद वी गोइंग टू गिव यून एफ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड दिस प्योर प्लेजरिज्म इफ दिस हैज नॉट बीन साइटेड एंड वी वॉन्ट टू नो द रोल ऑफ जी पी टी क्या आपने उसको पैराफ्रेजिंग के लिए इस्तेमाल किया कि आपने उसको थॉट पार्टनर इस्तेमाल किया सो इन सर्टन एरियाज में यू कैन गेट अवे विदाउट टेलिंग अस कि यार अगर वो आपका थॉट पार्टनर था तो आप आपको आप वो आप उसको पकड़ नहीं सकते एंड दैट्स प्रिसाइसली वर आई वॉन्ट से आपको पकड़ने की जरूरत ही नहीं है आपको उसको अपने कोर्स का नॉर्म बनाना चाहिए कि आप उन आइडियाज को बाउंस कर सकते हैं 
बिकॉज आप उसको रोक ही नहीं सकते उस तरीके से सो हाउ वुड यू डिजाइन द लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस वेयर ए आई एक्चुअली कैन बी अट पार्टनर फॉर यू स्टूडेंट्स एंड दे कैन असिस्ट स्टूडेंट्स एंड देन दे विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट हाँ अगर वो लगता ये कि आपके पास वो बिल्कुल कॉपी पेस्ट के जवाब आ गए हैं और आपको वो पकड़े गए हैं एंड आप प्लेजिज्म चेक कर बहुत ज़बरदस्त हो गए हैं यू नो वो बहुत अच्छा ये सब ए आई की जो खास लैंग्वेज है वो पकड़ लेते हैं एंड एज आई सेट यू नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी स्मार्ट ऑल्सो टू यूज ए आई इफ यू नॉट अनफॉर्चुनेटली स्मार्ट आप पाँच मिनट में पकड़े जाएंगे तो वो सो वो आपकी अप स्किलिंग भी साथ साथ हो रही है इसलिए जो मैं मेरा जो कॉन्वर्सेशन थी वो इसके ऊपर थी कि बच्चों को सिखाएं कि वो ए को इस्तेमाल करते हुए ए को कैसे बेहतर जान सकते हैं द बेटर दे वो नो ए आई द गुड दिल बी एडिट सो आई थिंक वो कॉन्वर्सेशन बहुत जरूरी है सो प्लीज डोंट यूज ए आई इन योर क्लास रूम इन स्कूल विदाउट हैविंग अ क्लियर पॉलिसी अराउंड इट दैट पॉलिसी इज शुड बी देयर उसके बगैर चाहे वो आपके कोर्स लेवल पॉलिसी है चाहे वो आपकी प्रोग्राम लेवल पॉलिसी है चाहे वो आपकी यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल पॉलिसी मेरे केस में आई हैव अ वेरी क्लियर पॉलिसी फॉर द कोर्स दैट्स इट सो आई फॉर एग्जांपल अलाउड आई आई फॉर एग्जांपल इन माय कोर्स आई टोल्ड स्टूडेंट्स दे कैन नॉट यूज जी पी फॉर पैराफ्रेजिंग दे आर नॉट अलाउड बिकॉज मेरे कोर्स में अंग्रेजी चेक करना मकसद ही नहीं है तो बिला वजह क्यों यू नो वो गुनाह बेलजत लेते हो कि पकड़े भी जाओगे और फायदा भी कोई नहीं हो रहा क्योंकि उस क्या फायदा उस गुनाह का जिसका कोई नजर ही नहीं आ रहा तो एंड मेरे कोर्स में इट कैन बी योर एब्सोल्यूट थॉट पार्टनर आइडियाज शेयर करें आइडियाज लेके आए एंड मुझे जरूर बताएं कि कौन सी आइडिया उससे आए बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू इनकरेज यू फॉर अ गुड यूज ऑफ ए आई बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट एम डूइंग सो आई थिंक वो माइंड के साथ जाना बहुत जरूरी है लॉन्ग आंसर बट दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू Thank you. Uh, one other question is from Muhammad. He has said there is all, there are always limitations with AI tool usage. If I am using a tool for lesson planning and after some time it says you have utilized your free credits, how do I overcome this issue? Money is the answer of a lot of problems, but I think we we can also keep on switching tools, right? So I mean, so इतने ज़्यादा आ गए हैं and a lot of them overlap. Maybe you can guide here. या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक तो चीज मैं कहूंगी डोंट ग्रो टू डिपेंडेंट कि आपको लगे कि यू नो अब ये खत्म हो गया है टूल का मेरा फ्री यूजेज तो नहीं हो सकता बट देर आर मल्टीपल फ्री टूल्स अवेलेबल एक्चुअली एक तो चार जी पी टी का थ्री पॉइंट फाइव वर्जन इज ऑलवेज फ्रीली अवेलेबल एक्सेसिबल बट एक तो मैंने एडवेट शेयर किया है जिसमें आपके पास बहुत ज्यादा ऑप्शन हैं और बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉम्स हैं दैट यू कैन यू नो वर्क ऑन एंड देन देर अदर टूल्स मैजिक एआई है बाकी हम आपके साथ शेयर कर देंगे काफी ज्यादा टूल्स हैं जो कि आप इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं एंड इफ इफ एवरी थिंग इफ यू रन आउट ऑफ एवरी थिंग देन गो बैक टू यू नो दीज जनरल टूल्स बट अगैन डोंट गेट टू डिपेंडेंट ऑन दीज टूल्स यूर वेरी यू योर थॉट एंड योर लर्निंग इज ऑल्सो योर विजडम एंड वट यू लर्न इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो या Okay, thank you for that. We're almost at the end, so I would just like to ask Dr. Suleiman and Samin if you have any ending messages you would like to leave our audience with, and any anything else that you would like to share that you haven't already. Samin, you can go. Sure, I think I'll be um very um like very simple. See, make things up. Long go. Request. Request. Karungi. यू नो डोंट बी टू अफ्रेड आई थिंक जब भी कोई नई चीज नई नई टेक्नोलॉजी आती है पीपल स्पेशली इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर वेरी रेजिस्टेंट एंड वेरी हेजिटेंट कि यू नो हमसे तो नहीं होगा पहली चीज जो हम करते हैं वी सेकेंड गेस आर सेल्स डू नॉट गो इन विद दैट माइंड सेट डू नॉट गो गो इन विद द माइंड सेट के आई डोंट नो हाउ टू यूज इट और मे बी आई विल फेल इट्स वेरी ईजी टू यूज और अगर आपको ईजी नहीं भी लग रही जस्ट लाइक कीप यूजिंग इट experimenting with it there's always something that you will end up learning there's new content available and everything don't shy away and keep experimenting and keep innovating and i think upper mindset yahi hona chahiye ki this is new and i want to learn this and i want to innovate so just um, let go of that fear uh, let go of that perfectionist mindset just start tinkering around with these tools and in my case i think i'll go again one level up and i i'll, I'll talk about two things first ke we need to be responsible as educators ki hamari zimmedari hai ke hum jitna inke in tools ke bare mein jaan sakte hain wo jaane aur unka ethical fair use apne classroom mein leke aaye jab hame pata hai ke ye 
they're not acting right, we need to be mindful. So we need to be a guide for ourselves and we need to be a guide for our students and we need to build that relationship where we could create uh, new learning experiences with AI. So I think that's first very important thing. And second thing is that everyone who uh, has webinar attend webinar, uh, please always think about that just because we can do it, should we do it? I think that's extremely important for us as human beings. What is our responsibility? Thank you so much for that ending note. Thank you, Samin. Thank you, Dr. Suleiman. Thank you to all our participants for joining. Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed the session. We will be sending you a follow up email with all the important links. So please uh, rest assured on that. If you are interested in watching any of the previous webinars, they are up on our YouTube channel. We will also be sending you the links to those. Thank you so much once again. Thank you to the LumsX team for all your help. We hope you have a great week ahead and stay tuned for more content from Lumzex. Allah Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.